Greetings and welcome to you. I am Shushana. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Capricorn. Capricorn, we have some discussions to have. So let's begin with the news. Let's begin with the title, shall we? So I called this video November 19 because November 19 is such an important day for those of you who fall under the sun Capricorn sign. After we do a little news discussion about November 19, we're going to move on and have some fun with some energy cards. So where shall we begin? That's always the question, isn't it? Let's start off with some medicine cards. Those are always my first ones to start with. They're just, they set the foundation, they set the tone of what the collective is dealing with. These are just general readings. It's not expected for it to resonate with everyone, really. It's just a collective rant about the collective energetic storyline. The story doesn't have to be yours. It could be a story where certain pieces belong to you and the pieces that don't belong to you, you simply reject them. That is how you watch these videos. You reject what doesn't feel right and you take what does feel right. So November 19, I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am for the Capricorn sun signs about November 19. November 19, Pluto leaves your sign. Pluto is associated with the underworld. So a lot of you may have felt that you were in hell your entire life. You might have felt that you have been in an energetic prison, an astrological prison, an astrological curse where you felt hexed your entire life. Thanks to Pluto. So your entire life, you dated demons. You dated demons. You dated the devil himself. You considered dating the devil himself at some point in your life, and you just did not understand why. And these are demonic influences that Pluto brings when Pluto is in your sign. Capricorn has been waiting approximately 250 years for this placement. Unfortunately for Aquarius, Pluto is coming after you. And Pluto is going to stay in Aquarius until 2048. Pluto will not again be in Capricorn until 2254. So that is why you have felt like your entire life has been a curse. And all of that is ending on November 19 when Pluto leaves your sign, your energetic shackles that have kept you from true, genuine happiness are going to be removed. 
you are going to continue to suffer for about one more month because Pluto is still going to be in your sign. But it's not really a bad thing. It's basically what you can expect for the rest of October and the beginning and mid-November is realizing that the reason why Pluto is there for one more month is to make sure that you don't repeat the same patterns, that you don't repeat the same cycles because there are certain cycles, there are certain patterns that are engraved within you since you were a baby. And you don't know how to function without those patterns. Some of you, the more advanced Capricorns, already had a breakthrough with addiction and were able to quit alcohol or certain non-holistic substances. But for the most part, most of you dealt with a lot of addiction in various ways because of Pluto. You were trying to remove the pain and suffering and torment that Pluto brings to your sign. So that's the reason why you were medicating yourself, overdosing, relapsing, getting addicted to substances that make you forget your reality. That is why. So if there are certain addictions that you have that you've been considering to quit, this could be anything, any kind of self-destructive behavior, a self-destructive substance, a self-destructive way of thinking, anything like that. It's like you're going to get one last wave of temptation, one last wave of spiritual testing that you are ultimately going to resist this temptation. You're not going to fall for the trap. You've been trained for this. However, that temptation is going to be stronger than ever before because Pluto knows that it has to leave your sign. So it's going to make sure that you are tempted to go back to a negative version of you. There's this negative version of you that comes out when you're grumpy. This negative version of you that comes out when you don't feel fulfilled or satisfied. And you tend to take it out on other people and you can't control yourself. That you're going to be able to finally have a breakthrough on certain stubborn addictions and you're going to be able to clear them. And you will be surprised with yourself. A lot of you have addictions such as tobacco, nicotine, cigarettes, or alcohol, or cocaine, or pills. And you've already been considering leaving this addiction. And when November and December and the future rolls in, you're going to realize that you actually don't even want it. All of a sudden, you don't want it. You don't want to buy it. You don't want to hunt it. You're turned off by the idea of it always being around you. And you're just going to have a motivation that you've never had before that's going to make you leave that one stubborn substance that you have a really hard time with. Okay. So. 
your entire life has been intense. You, if you, if you have any kind of diagnosis, it's complex. It's a CPTSD, complex PTSD. And that is going to be the main thing that you're going to work on. You're going to work on having a mini death is the best advice I can give you. The Buddhist mindset or the Taoist mindset or that's probably the only two that I can think of have these beliefs that we can be born again within this lifetime. We can have many deaths, many ego deaths, many addiction deaths, many personality deaths where you just disconnect from an identity that you no longer associate with because it was forced upon you. Okay, what kind of spread should we do? What is the physical work that this group needs to work on for the last month of Pluto being in your sign? My God. The papers have come in. The contracts have come in of your release from this energetic prison that Pluto has had you in. We have sitting back and being more of an observant, being more of an observer. Don't take impulsive haste action. You will be tempted to make dumb moves and that is all Pluto. And you can't fall for it. You have to be strong for the month of November. There's one month left to your release. Don't mess it all up and be tricked because you will be triggered. You will be cornered. You will be put in a rain check. You will be postponed. You will be delayed all on purpose to trigger you so that you go back to your old ways. But you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that because you are talented. So there is a magnificent talent or healing ability that you have in the healing arts or in physical arts, metaphysics. And it has been blocked. And that block is being removed. It's very important that you take the time to check yourself. Because you're being given an opportunity, a white piece of paper, an empty mannequin, an empty canvas. It's very emotional because for once in your life, sorry if my voice is a little raspy, I haven't slept in two days. I've been just awake feeling the world and how the times that we're in are so intense. You know, just reading the news about all the things that's happening in every single country and it's been really difficult to sleep. So that's why my voice is a little raspy. Okay. He talents you have not been given an opportunity to use them because you were forced 
a certain circumstance from a very young age that you should not have experienced. And it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. You know, sometimes... We have to live very difficult upbringings, very dysfunctional upbringings for whatever reason, whether that is karmic. It's easier to accept it than to fight against it. And it's very important for you to take advantage of the opportunity that you're going to be given this I want to call it like a clean white slate where you can write and create how you want things to be and there will be no blockages. There will be no blockages. Finally, there will be no blockages. There will be no challenges there will be no challenges there will be no blockages there will be the everything will be the way that it should be because i know that a lot of you have felt targeted targeted your whole life you know this might also resonate with you if you have a lot of capricorn placement in your natal chart if you have capricorn two three four times or Capricorn in a main, you know, a main moon or rising or sun or just a heavy Capricorn placement, then you will also resonate with this. It's not just for the sun sign. It's for people who have a lot of Capricorn in them. So it's like when you were, when you were little, you were tricked and pranked. You were giving this false sense of this false sense of hope I even want to say where you were just lied to you were made to believe that you were able to create something yourself but then Something, the circumstance, your upbringing, abusive people, narcissists, demons in your life took over that canvas that you had wanted for yourself and just demolished it and handed you something else. And you had to deal with that something else for your entire life until November 19. That is what it has felt like. What about the inner work? So this is going to bring a new opportunity for you to finally be able to choose. You haven't had a choice. You've been surviving. There's a difference between living and surviving and you've been surviving and some didn't even make it. You know, I have a Capricorn brother that didn't make it in this matrix and died at a pretty young age. So I know, <laughs> I know the struggle. Um, you weren't given a choice. You weren't given what it seems like everybody else was given like you, oh, your entire life you felt like everybody got something in their basket but you and you had to work three times as hard to get anything in there and then when you finally did people would demolish it And now you're finally given what was 
owed to you. You have family members that stole from you. You have fam family members that stole from you and you have people that stole from your family. You have forgery, people who committed forgery, people who refused to tell you that you had an inheritance. The list goes on. All those people are going to be brought to justice, if not by the physical law, by God's law, they will be brought to justice. All those people that screwed you over, God is going to take everything from them because they stole from you thousands and thousands of dollars. Some of you, multiple properties and percentages that were owed to you that were never given. For the inner work, of course, we have regaining hope. How do you regain hope after all of that? How do you regain hope after all of that? That is what you, that's the inner work for the next 20, 30 days is regaining hope because Pluto is leaving your sign. So there's proof. You've been wanting proof. The proof is Pluto leaving your sign. That's your proof. The sun is currently in your 11th house of friendship. And you are evaluating who your true friends are. You've had a lot of breakups with people that you either outgrew or lied to you. So you're evaluating the friends that you have left that actually are your friends that can pick up the phone when you're crying and you need some emotional social support. And if there's a small amount or no amount, there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It means that you are intelligent because you're continuing to progress and continuing to grow stronger while people, you leave them behind because they stop growing. They stopped growing. You have family members that are older than you and they stopped growing and you had to leave them behind because you wanted to continue to grow and they wanted to stay I don't even know what you would call that because it's not natural. It's not natural for people, for a plant to stop growing. It just dies. And it just seemed like everybody around you just felt like a dead plant. And you only wanted to surround yourself around people that want to grow and you couldn't find that anywhere. So you have a very close relationship with God for the most part with source going with the flow this card sounds repetitive going with the flow right don't fight where you're being pushed Basically, spiritually speaking, you're being pushed a specific direction. You spent years researching certain things and it's the time to go the direction that you are energetically being pushed. I'm going to put these to the side. So. The trauma. All of the, the trauma that you have, it's going to be easier to keep it in one big clump. Because a lot of times when you talk to a psychologist or psychiatrist, they want to 
put everything in these complicated little boxes, you know, they want to label everything and diagnose things that don't even exist in TCM. And I'm not going to go into that because, oh, look, look what we have at the bottom of the deck. Caring connections. Sure, let's talk about it. So a lot of you had breakups the past three to eight years for the older ones, further back. And these breakups were with people that you never, ever thought you were going to break up with. You never thought that you were going to divorce them. The reason why it happened was because of Pluto. It was associated with, mm, I want to say dark karmic connections, but those can still be transmuted as lessons learned and wisdom gained. It's not all bad. You don't, Whenever you deal with karmics, it's not all bad. You learn something. You learn something when you deal with karmics. But you had a lot of breakups. Yeah. But recently, most Capricorns have found someone that they are madly in love with, spiritually married with, etc., and then there's another group of you that's in between. In between the past person and the new person. And then, of course, there's another group of you that's completely single. And that's for a reason as well. Because the best is going to present itself in creative opportunities and those opportunities are already going to start trickling towards you financial opportunities creative opportunities benefits and programs insurance coverage that you didn't think existed are going to come to your attention through people through networking through being social through resources. Don't just be in a corner. Get out there because different towns have different resources and you will get what you're looking for, including information, just information that you didn't know existed because of all these blockages that Pluto brought to your sign that blocked your vision, you know, so now all that is being removed and you're going to be very busy and there's going to be a lot of opportunities wanting to keep you booked during the week. I see a lot of you working almost every single day to every single day until the rest of the year. The rest of the year is just going to fly by because you're going to get booked by appointments. For those of you that are in between, you don't have to listen to every single thing I say, okay? This is just my opinion. If you are in between a past person and a new person, I highly recommend getting rid of the people or the person that you met while Pluto was in your sign, okay? And I know that's going to hurt, but... Look at everything that they did to you. They look at all the time that you wasted. Like look at all of that. Okay. Um, the past person was toxic, dangerous, narcissistic, restraining orders. They could have taken your life. Okay. The newer person I feel you are already spiritually married to or already married to or engaged is just what I get. 
And the newer person, if you met them while Pluto was still in your sign, but they're a newer person, I think that's okay. I'm talking about, you know, when you were in the nitty gritty of Pluto being your sign, not while it's exiting. While it's exiting, a new person is going to be a blessing for you because they're genuinely going to be interested in your soul and spirit as opposed to the past people that you dated that were interested in your physical body, if that makes sense. Okay, you're going to heal. You're going to heal from all of this. Now, I'm so glad that this card came up because there was something I wanted to say. These psychologists and psychiatrists, they put all these complicated labels in complicated little groups. And how are people supposed to recover from trauma when, when you have all these labels and all these diagnoses when trauma is trauma? So let's just put it all in a clump. You put it all in a big clump like a rock. A big, huge rock that is in your life. Instead of compartmentalizing all the trauma and where it came from and who gave it to you. Just put it all in one big rock and imagine that rock being demolished by these ginormous picking tools and it just pops and there's little tiny pebbles everywhere, but they're not on you anymore. For the next 20 to 30 days, you're going to be feeling the rust, these pieces of rust from having that stone, from having that rock on you for so long. And you're just going to be dusting it off, dusting it off, clearing, clearing this rusty energy that this rock has left behind. And instead of going, who gave me that trauma? Don't start doing that because then you will re-traumatize yourself. Just imagine the big stone being gone. It's gone. Remind yourself, it's gone. It's gone. It's not there anymore. Broken. Diminished. Turned to ashes. Gone with the wind. Taken away. <laughs> I hear somebody saying, what if you have children? What if you have children with somebody that you got together with in the nitty gritty? Look, as soon as I, as soon as I heard that, um, you can't put the children, the children should not be an excuse for two people to stay together. Do you understand? The children should not be an excuse to keep two people together that it's not working out. If it's not working out, it's not working out. If it's not working out, you're going to argue. You can possibly kill each other fighting and the children are going to witness that. And you're going to say you're just going to stay together for the children. I'm sorry. I just don't get a good feeling from that. I get a lot of mind games where either them or both of you were with other people and then got back together and got back together over and over again because of the kids that's toxic and it's dangerous. And I highly recommend staying away from all your past people. So let's do another card for that card. A newer person is not expressing themselves, not telling you the truth about how they really feel. For those of you who can afford it. 
I highly suggest TCM, holistic medicine, acupuncture, acupressure, all of that to release any residual CPTSD. Embracing your wild side. I believe this is the third time, second or third time that you got this card. When given an opportunity, be honest about how you feel and embrace your wild side. Don't hold back because if you hold back, it's going to cause another annoying delay is what I get. Let's do another one. I want to do one more of these. So I'm so excited to see the collective of the sea goats to be unblocked from BS, from ridiculousness, from being surrounded by toxic, abusive people. You've been surrounded by compulsive liars and users all your life. All that is finally ending. And if you ever come across any toxic person like that again, your radar is going to go off and you will be notified and you will never end up in a toxic situation again. Do you understand me? It's going to be a little uncomfortable in the beginning because you're so used to it. You're so used to dealing with toxicity. Toxicity. <laughs> it is going to be, it's going to feel unusual when it's your turn. You're going to be like, wow, really? It's my turn? And there's going to be people struggling around you. They're going to be struggling either energetically or financially or even supernaturally. And I just get this image of people being punished for how they treated you. Whenever it's like whenever you were down, you were kicked. You got you were kicked when you were down. And now you're gonna come up. And now it's your turn to come up. And now it's your turn to have all the doors open for you. And you're going to watch the people that screwed you over and abused you and hurt you unnecessarily. It wasn't necessary. There's ways to deal with certain things. And the way that people did you was so wrong. You have so many snakes around you that are constantly envying you because you still kept your head over water during a very trying time that was actually an entire lifetime for some of you. For some of you that are elderly, you, that means you spent that much amount of time with Pluto in your side. God bless you. You deserve all the happiness that is coming for your future for at least the next 20 years. Sorry, I got like emotional about what I was seeing and built everything. And this is what I was emotional about, about how you were treated as a child. Like I have to hold back my tears, okay? I have to control myself. I'm one of those people that cries over anything. I feel everything <laughs> like a sponge, you know? I feel what's going on from the north to the south to the east to the west I feel it and 
you need to give yourself permission to play. You are going to embark in this new journey of financial stability, financial security, financial wealth, accumulation of wealth. I keep getting, for whoever it resonates with, it's not going to resonate with everybody, but I just keep getting this image of very wealthy people that screwed you over, losing it all, going bankrupt. And you are accumulating money and savings and investment from places that you didn't know existed that if you if it hasn't reached you yet, you need to look into your own resources your own inheritance, you know, things like that. Because when you are envied by your own family, your own family will withhold information on purpose so that you don't get your blessings. But there is something called a universal law and the universal law Source is always watching. Where is the location of source? <laughs> Where is the location of God? Over here in your pineal gland. That is the location of source. In its multitude of locations. Because people wonder, like, how do they know everything? Because there is a piece of God inside of us. That's how God knows everything. There is an ingredient of God inside our pineal gland. And you know what else? Pineal gland, like let's say you cannot come up with the name for God because you're suspicious of religions and symbols. You can call God Lord Pineal. Lord Pineal, as in your pineal gland, you can just call God Lord Pineal gland. And to me, sleeping, being able to sleep peacefully is a blessing from God. And what produces melatonin? Pineal gland. Melatonin is what you need to sleep. So if you're not on the right path, if you're not right with God, God is not going to give you any melatonin and you're just going to have insomnia and suffer because there's something that you're not doing right. When I used to drink alcohol, I used to drink alcohol heavily to deal with my CPTSD and just dealing with the pain of being brought up in a dysfunctional family. And I would be punished. I would be punished for drinking by not being able to sleep. I had to stay up. I had to stay up. I mean, sometimes, sometimes we have insomnia because we have things on our mind. We had too much caffeine. We're stressed out. That's normal. But I'm talking about spiritual insomnia. Sometimes it's a blessing to be awake in the middle of the night to protect you from something. But I'm talking about a different kind. I'm talking about your general well-being, the health of your general sleep besides all the little side exemptions. This represents you needing to regain your confidence. You lost your confidence. You lost your confidence being surrounded by so many toxic people and circumstances vomiting on your rainbow that now you're looking at your rainbow that has all this vomit on it. And you're like, why would anyone want to look at this rainbow? And all you have to do is clean it. Just clean the rainbow up polish it, make it nice and shiny again, and bring it out again for the winter. 
you're going to have such a lovely winter, um, a winter solstice. I do not celebrate Christmas, but I do celebrate the winter solstice. Um, to me, Christmas is diabolical. It really is. I mean, Santa also spells the word Satan, and I think it's just a bunch of pagan rituals, you know, profiting off this propaganda. So I celebrate the winter solstice, which is the weather or the nature transition honoring the change in weather as opposed to pagan rituals. Okay, we already pulled one of those. We already pulled one of these. Okay. We're going to start with a Taoist card for any advice for this last 20, 30 days of your da 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 da. I don't even want to say the word. Embrace partnership. A harmonious relationship creates joy. It is a bond free from attachments to power, money, or status. Accept your friends and partners as they are. Release all judgment. I feel that this is most definitely about positive, the new person. Let's just say the new person, okay? This is about the new person as well as any future new friends that you're going to make by spring of next year. You will have an upgraded level of circle of friends where you basically replace your lower vibrational friends for people who want to continue to grow with you as opposed to stop growing like a stump. It's very painful for siblings and family members to watch their family members stop growing and refuse to go on a sober path or at least improve Certain things that in a lot of family dynamics, I don't see ever change. In a lot of family dynamics, you see 98% of the family refusing to change and continuing with their dark ways, with their witchcraft ways, with their cult ways, with their alcoholic ways, with, you know, whatever ways. And there's always that either 1% or 2% of family members that want to break the cycle, that want to break the generational curse in whatever way that means to them. So, you're going to have to create a circle of people that want to grow. And if you can't find that, then stay away from everybody because you're better off alone than being in bad company. Okay, Capricorn. So are you in separation from somebody that you're torn about being with? You know, I'm sorry I have to be so hard on you about the old person and new person, but it's just what I feel strongly. You know, if you are in love with the past person, are they abusive? Are they violent? Have they cheated? Have they lied? If they don't check any of those boxes, then sure, give them another chance. But if they check just one of those boxes, they are a Pluto, a Pluto demon. So a lot of you actually dated and married Scorpios that are also associated with Pluto. So 
I bet you that there's a group of you in here that will never, ever, ever date a Scorpio ever again. Sorry, cross watchers. There's a group of you in here that is like, if you hear that anybody, because you dealt with Scorpios all your life, whether they were family members or spouses, you dealt with them all your life. You want nothing to do with them once Pluto leaves your sign. And it's interesting because the person that a lot of Capricorns have fallen in love with is of a completely different element. And that's another clue that that's the person that you should choose is either the newer person or the person that has, that doesn't have scorpionic placement. And then for those of you who were with Scorpios your whole life, dating them, marrying, um, they screwed you over so badly, almost like they were meant to, you know, almost like they were born to screw you over. But you know what? And then Taurus too. You had, you dated Scorpios, you dated Tauruses, and you will never do that again. Of course, that's just for some of you. Okay, so for those of you who are in separation, um, let's pull some cards from what your person would want to say to you that you're in separation with. Mind you, sometimes exes and energy vampires will take over this segment. So you might get multiple messages from multiple people. I wish I could take back my words. See, that I feel is a past person. It's like, no, 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 you, you crossed the line. <laughs> you done crossed the line. We both know I'm not the one for you. This one is for a group of you that is having a hard time letting go of the past. That one came out, I believe, last time as well. So many things remind me of you but this one okay I bury myself in work to forget you someone is burying themselves in work to forget you so many things remind me of you I feel like that's two different people Okay, let's do the hidden truth. Same deck, but it's the second volume. And if it doesn't resonate, it's okay. It's okay to dismiss what does not resonate with you is meant for somebody else. So November 19, be happy, be happy Capricorn, be happy because I feel like you have been you're such an amazing sea goat that represents resilience that even when Pluto was in your sign, 
even when Pluto was in your sign. You were able to be a humble, grateful, bubbly individual that actually got targeted at work or targeted at school for being that way without them knowing that Pluto was in your sign. Without them knowing that your whole life has been a living hell. And they targeted you. And they mistreated you. And they envied you. Because you had a gift of not being able to show that your sign was in Pluto. You had a gift of being able to just poke your face around even though your entire life has felt like you've been in the underworld. And when heavy planets went to the underworld, I don't know if you remember Venus. Venus went to the underworld in 2015, I think. 2014, 2015, it might even have been before that, a couple of years. But Venus went to the underworld. And oh my God, did you suffer? You suffered so much during that time because you you were already in the underworld in a sense. And then whenever heavy signs went down there, it's like you got this wave of torment. So going back to the universal law and karma, those people who mistreated you, whether they were family members, people at work, people at school, People who were managers. Managers are supposed to create peace. They're not supposed to instigate drama. Okay? All those people are going to be punished. You know? I'm not a person of revenge. I am one of those that I let God do God's work. And God blesses me by allowing me to surprisingly witness people's karma to prove his justice. You know, I don't ask for it. I don't ask for it. I don't ask to be shown people's karma, but God shows me anyway. He puts me in positions where he's like, oh, that person treated you that way. Let me show you what's going to happen to them. And he puts me in a position where I have to see it. I have to see it with my eyes, what happens um, to people when... They mistreat others, even if it's low key, even if it's silent, even if it's in your thought, you having a, a negative thought towards another individual, you're already casting a negative spell and there will be consequences for that. Sorry, I need a, okay. So going back, I just, I needed to get that out there. Okay, I just needed to get that out there is for whoever that resonates for. Okay, going back to this, I find you so attractive. So the person that finds you so attractive found you so attractive while Pluto was in your sign about to exit. And now they're going to be rewarded with seeing the new version of you that is so much better than the older version of you that was shackled with Pluto. Your intellect arouses me. Okay, let's do one more last card for you, Capricorns. Be happy, be happy, be happy. You should be tap dancing with these news. You know, I would be tap dancing too, but I haven't slept for two days because I stayed up watching world news. And you know when you get that world angst feeling where... <laughs> You're scared to go to sleep because you feel like if you 
go to sleep, you might miss something important. I don't know. I have, I've been having those days where I've just been like, this is crazy. You know, the international news is crazy where sometimes I just have to separate myself or disassociate myself and pretend that it's not real. And it works for a little while, but then you have to go back to the issue at hand and deal with it, right? There are so many changes that are going to happen. So I bet a lot of you are having, I bet the whole world is having insomnia and angst during this time because of global uncertainty and this earthquake feeling of Pluto transitioning to another sign of Aquarius. What's going to happen then? What's going to happen when Pluto goes into Aquarius? It's not going to be very fun for Aquarius, but on a global level, it's going to stimulate change. By force. I don't want to get too deep into the global issues because it's a very hypersensitive topic. So what color does sea goats need to work with during these last 20 to 30 days? Beef. For their release, because that is sure what it feels like, doesn't it? Happy, happy, happy. I keep having to remind you because I keep seeing your energy drop. It's like you get happy, hopeful, and then you go back down. Happy and hopeful, and then you go back down. No, 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 no. Come on, keep it at a neutral with me. Neutral, neutral. Don't let it go down. See, when you're too happy and too bubbly, it tends to attract the polar opposite so that you kind of get attacked by grumpy people when you're too happy. But then there's different levels of happy. There's the happy where you're like, oh, that person's grumpy, God bless you, right? And where you don't care. But then there's also the neutral and then being too low and staying low. If you're just neutral, if you just keep it at neutral where you're just kind of dismissive and don't let your emotions get in the way, you just stay neutral. At least keep it at the neutral. But don't go down because you're so used to being down there. Enjoy clear hearing. Needing to work with the color mauve. There's a very creamy pastel violet tone to mauve. Mauve or mauve? I don't know. I didn't even know that that was a color, but it, it's like a lavender to me. A pastel lavender. This is a very healing time for you because the problem with you feeling unable to heal completely in prior months and prior years is because your circumstances were not lifted. So you felt like, what's the point of healing if my circumstances are not going to be lifted, if my debts are not going to be lifted, if any restrictions are not going to be listed lifted so you kind of haven't put your all into self-healing you haven't put your all into it the way that you could and you know that but slowly but surely you've been working on your diet you've been working on losing weight and eliminating certain things that cause overgrowth such as candida
it's going to take time. It's going to take you time for you to stay on neutral. I just, I want you to focus on staying neutral because when you're out about, when you're out on the street, when you're in school, when you're at work, you have this bubbly demeanor because you're outside and you're active. But when you're home, you have to confront all of your psychological issues, right? So when you're home doing whatever it is that you do to replenish, stay at a neutral level and do not allow yourself to drop. Keep telling yourself, there's no need to drop. There's no need to drop. Nope, there's no need to drop. Stay at a neutral level. It's very interesting, your energy right now. You just go happy, happy by good news, happy by a thought, happy by very fleeting motivation, and then you go right back down to the floor. Don't let that happen. You can even visualize water at your hip, there being water up to your hip, and then bring it higher and then higher to maybe up to here. Let's say the water is up to here. You can't, don't let yourself go down because if you go down, you'll drown. You know, do whatever visual little tricks that you have to do so that you don't go back down to your ball and chain this energetic ball and chain it's like this image of an elephant you know the elephant as a baby a circus baby elephant as a baby is given a ball and chain on its little leg and then the elephant grows big and powerful and it's so used to having this little ball and chain that it doesn't realize it's big enough to burst it open and break it open and break itself free and beat up everybody in its way and escape the circus. That is what is happening for Capricorn. You need to realize that you are big enough to break that ball and chain now. And the next 20 to 30 days are all preparation, preparation and a lot of healing. But at the same time, I need you to keep busy. You need to stay busy. Does that make sense? Like, don't get too cozy because if you get too cozy, you will be tempted. And then that temptation will trigger a mental breakdown. And then that mental breakdown will trigger self-destructive patterns and you will go backwards and you you have to resist going backwards because you will be tempted to go backwards for the most advanced capricorns you will be aware that it's just a trap and you will surpass it and you will continue to grow and you're just going to be checking off all the boxes of all the things that you need to do to bring you into your new life that you're going to be living next year. Next year, you're going to be living a brand new life. This winter is going to go by so fast. So I need you to be like chess, playing chess. Every single move that you make is a preparation move that your future self is going to need you to do right now. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions regarding love, because love is always a huge question, I think that there is definitely someone in your life that has no idea that you're about to morph into the fire phoenix. They think that they already saw the best of you, but they have no idea that you're about to be engulfed in flames. Like, I want to cry because there's so much suffering that you dealt with. It, it, is, it is like an unsurmountable amount where you feel like it's never going to get better. But we have proof now. We have proof now. So... That is what I want to say. And if any of you are dealing with a toxicity, any kind of abusive, 
violence, infidelity, compulsive liars in your life, you need to love yourself enough to cut them off for good. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.